is it true that there's a disproportionate, very significant disproportionate impact on African Americans with COVID-19? Is that because since 2017, and uh, as updated via various insurance conferences last year, there was some subversive agreement to do the Texas twist and turn on census data regarding income and Asians became black. The understanding was that the income denominators for Asians were supposed to be turned a little bit and the Asians were supposed to become black and the black was supposed to become white and then there was supposed to be, I believe, via Lebanon, a repositioning of Hispanics into being white. But I didn't quite get that because there was this Muslim thing, and I think it has to do now with Lebanon, that the Asians were, to, the blacks were to be Asian, that the whites were to be black, and then there was supposed to be a recalibration of the Hispanics that somehow expressed itself as Muslim in a way I didn't quite understand for a while, but experienced real time very significantly. And that in the course of that, the Muslims were supposed to be slaves to Allah. And somehow Allah became some African American leadership association. I'm absolutely serious. I saw it play out in Houston. I saw it play out in Austin. I've seen it play out in Dallas now. And so now we have what we have. What are you going to do about the income numbers? Because if I'm correct and you allow for this situation where people misrepresented what was really going on with the allegations of Chinese hacking, then what that means is these efforts to try to visit reprisals or target China have ended up hitting the black people that were allowed to be characterized as Asian for the purposes of economic engineering to try to increase the status or the standard of living or what was the projected understanding of the income levels to engineer whatever was identified as Asian at that time to be part of what was supposed to be restituted to black people but now that we've had years of defamation of China specifically, and then we've had this completely s disgusting, deplorable situation with not taking responsibility for what happened to Japan, and we've also had this very, very prurient relationship around Korea, specifically South Korea, but also this uh, manner in which North Korea is misrepresented, our relationship with Asia and what is Asian via that kind of uh, association and the, f the fact that when it comes to tearing and taking responsibility in the moment for what's actually going on as opposed to allowing for this abstraction into other uh, scenarios so that what's taken care of in the moment doesn't actually happen. Is that really why in the course of this biological terror attack that's being visited through electronic warfare that what's happening is efforts to target China and chastise China is actually disproportionately impacting African Americans because it was already predeterministically dis assigned to swap demographic experience indicators from what was Asian before onto blacks now. I, I mean, I've believed this for a while. I didn't know how to articulate it. But if Houston's really going to put that out there today and it's going to attract that kind of representation, what it says to me is that $5 billion in HUD assistance that came presumably as Hurricane Harvey relief came around the same time that an insider at a certain level of the HUD administration was able to argue a sexual harassment suit. And she was able to get some sort of acknowledgement and restitution right around the time they were launching a campaign to recruit people for sexual harassment insurance. And it's comparable to how around the same time that they were implementing 
the next the, the follow up phase of their program to in to in insert specifically African American women with a particular kind of political capital into the mayorality of very specific cities at a very specific time that was orchestrated and called in Houston. That precisely. Okay, at the same time that that was the the the, the, the mayor of one of those cities was talking was was uh, expressing alarm about major hacking that was happening to the municipality while by the way they were recalibrating demographic data and then all of a sudden there's a concurrent campaign to also talk about increasing cyber insurance particularly cyber insurance for municipalities that might be subject to hacking nobody's talked about how these alleged hacks in Houston three I mean Texas three Three in one year, three alleged hacks. One of an ISD, one of the Supreme Court, one of the uh, up to 20 municipalities, all three of them correlated with a diversion from through Nigeria that resulted in a terrorist attack. Nobody's talked about that. But they know 